Hi, my name is Joe and welcome to a short edition of Joe's Technology. Today I'm unboxing the Intel Core i3 processor. Specifically, this is the i3-4150, which is an LGA-1150 uh, socketed processor. These uh, processors are very, very popular right now in the uh, market, particularly for people that are putting together low-cost gaming PCs or, or basically just inexpensive home computers in general. Um, one of the really nice things is that uh, the i3 supports hyper-threading, so although it's only a two-core processor, you're able to get basically uh, four virtual cores um, and get a lot of things done with this. Uh, Intel includes um, their own HD graphics in it, specifically the Intel HD 4400 graphics, which are built into the CPU. So if you didn't want to buy a separate graphics card, and you just wanted this for, say, desktop usage, um, in fact, even maybe even a little light gaming, you might be able to get away with it with the i3, just the way it is. So here I'm going to go ahead and open it up here, and we'll see what it is that comes in the box if you buy one of these. Um, this is the actual box itself. Um, and nothing, nothing too remarkable. It's basically being packaged the same way that we've seen Intel processors for a while. And at the top, you can see the CPU itself with its uh, various bits of information indicating, you know, where it co comes from, what type it is. Uh, let's see, this one originates in Vietnam. Hmm. I guess I wasn't uh, aware that Intel had a fab there, but... Uh, oh, fab is short for Semiconductor Fabrication Facility, if you hadn't heard of that before. And so the fabs are, are known more by their numbers than their names. Okay, so here, let's go ahead and open it up. So we have our factory seal here on the side, and so I'll just get this in here. Now you may be saying to yourself, hey, if this is if this little thing here is the processor, why is this box so big? Well, <laughs> as you can see, Intel helpfully includes, or unhelpfully, depending on your point of view. So Here's what came out of the box. We have our, uh, well, Intel's trying to sell us on antivirus. If you run Linux, you don't have to worry. <laughs> Information about your Core i3 processor. Oh, for some reason that's sealed too. Now it's got uh, other bits of information. This is why the box is so big. It includes a um, heat sink. It's basically a CPU fan to dissipate the heat. These are not bad, I suppose. You know, if you're lucky and you don't tax your computer too much or you live someplace that's kind of cool, you could probably get away with using this. That never seems to work for me. I'm always pushing my processors to the limits. And, the, I mean, heck, I don't even have to turn the heater on in winter. I've got enough computers that, uh, that the heat is taken care of by that alone. So I just throw these in a box and I don't use them. Intel includes basically the same one with all their chips. Um, if you're curious, this processor puts out, uh, I believe, 54 watts of uh, heat to be dissipated. Um, so that's its, uh, uh, its uh, thermal dissipation would be uh, 54 watts is the equivalent. <clears throat> so yeah, that, that um, CPU fan might work, but... To be honest, I would rather just pay a little bit more and get an aftermarket one. So here, let's see. Uh, I'm trying not to tear my box up here. There it is. So here's a little tongue in the back, I believe. And if I pop it, it should come out. And I was right. Good, good. So the little tongue comes out, and the processor is now free. Hoorah! So this is it. This is our little friend, the i3. The i3 is not a very big processor. Um, oh, LGA, if you're if you're curious, means Land Grid Array. Uh, in the old days, uh, Intel used to make processors that had pins uh, that would go into the motherboard. But the problem was is the pins would get bent and people get irate because here you have a very expensive chip and you put it in there and you bend one of those little pins and then you try to bend it back and the pin breaks off and now it's junk and this whole processor could be ruined simply because one pin's not working. Well now those pins are on the motherboard. 
Motherboards are a lot cheaper than processors. Well, in some cases, depending on which one you get. So this uh, just sits down on top of the processor, or I mean the, the motherboard, and uh, the little pins coming up from the motherboard make contact with the LGA, the LAN grid array, and, uh, and are just compressed down. And in fact, I'll have another video where I'll demonstrate a computer assembly with this, so uh, look for that video shortly. But uh, this has been my unboxing of the Intel Core i3-4150. Uh, uh, these are great little CPUs, and they're not very expensive.